What I'm going to do is lock the keyboard and the mouse and leave the screen so that it still displays whatever's on it. In order to show you what's going on and how this works, we're going to have an active screen. It could be anything. It could be a movie playing. Or in my case, what I want to do is I want to be able to monitor several video feeds from security cameras. So in order to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to load a program from our software manager. The program is called XTR Lock. Now I'm trying to figure out and find this program. Uh, you don't want to hit launch here. You hit launch, you're going to lock your screen. Okay, so exit out of there. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to make um, a keyboard shortcut. Now there's a lot of people that said a lot of different things and they make this more complicated than it really needs to be. So if we go to user, bin, and we'll find our program. It is down here, right here. There's our program. We're going to need this address right here. Copy it out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a keyboard uh, shortcut. So go up here to keyboard. Go to the shortcuts. Go to add. Now we're going to put our command in here. Part of the command is the address, name of the file. Hit OK. And in this case, it's going to be Control Alt K for keyboard. And we close out of that. See, this video is, is playing in the background. Actually, it's a monitor. Go control K. We got a little lock. This is what I want to accomplish. I want to be able to see the screen. The screen's still doing what it was doing, but no interaction. This is what I want. If we type in the wrong password, it should beep as, and in this case, it's not. Hit escape. What we need to do is type in the password for the user. A lock goes away. Now the next thing that we could do, make it so that it comes up when we start up the computer. If the computer doesn't have a login password, then this would be another way of doing a password. Go up again and we go to session and startup. In session and startup, we pick application auto start, go down to add, and we have the same thing. Now we put anything we want in for our name. And then the command, we do it the same way again. Actually, we could actually go there. Okay, down to user, and then to bin, then down to the program. XTR lock. Hit OK. Now right here we got a choice. It says on login or log out, shut down, restart, suspend, hybrid sleep, switch user. We want login, on login. Now if you don't have a password on any computer, this will start it when you start your computer. And if you want to disable it, all you have to do is just change that check mark. Right now I'm going to disable it because I don't want it to start because I do have a login password. There you have it. You can lock your keyboard. So the keyboard doesn't work. The mouse you can't click on anything with the mouse. Doesn't work. But you still see what the display was displaying. So you use your imagination what you can use this for. Uh, I'm going to use it for security cameras and to be able to lock out the keyboard and secure the computer. If you like this video, then press like. And I thank you for watching my video.